Hello Frenzy, my name is Kate Shark and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Um, so I'm picking up right from where I left off uh, yesterday, which, my yesterday anyway, um, where we are going to hang at the mall with B. So let's go ahead and get started. Dead Party Boy stickers in 2017. I think they're back in. Mm, that's cool. I bet you listen to them. Oh uh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, if you're 30 years old and set, hey, <laughs> I'm getting there. They don't even have any witch dagger stuff here. The only stuff they have, the only they only have stuff that's cool with like 13 year olds. Isn't that a witch dagger? Black plate poster? Oh, huh. Looks like they have a few of them. I think I saw a whole witch dagger thing on the way in. Okay, okay. You should go hang out with a 13 year olds. Stop it. You have so much in common. I swear I will steal your car and leave you here. <laughs> like you even know how to drive. Hmm. Wow, haven't seen belt buckles in a while. At least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake driving a semi-truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do what? Come, cover me, I'm gonna grab one. What? Yeah, no, don't! Shh! You are not doing this. So, you're really gonna do this. Shh, be cool. There's... What other crimes have you done? Shoplifting. Vandalism. Piracy. Shoplifting again now. Anyway, I just do the easy crimes. How is a stupid idea easy? Our eyes evolved to notice movement. Like dinosaurs. If the dinosaur is moving... Wait, that's not... Never mind. So as long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching, like you're gonna freeze when she looks over, even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket, and this is gonna work because dinosaurs. Just like dinosaurs. I'm gonna pretend to not know you until you're done, okay? Sweet. Okay, are you done? Aw, oh, yeah. Shut up and let's get out of here. Was that an option? I really didn't want to do that. Aw, oh, sweet. Oh yeah, sweet belt buckle I am never, ever gonna wear. Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, May. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever done, like, any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess, hasn't everyone? Well, get back in there, champ! What? No. Beatrice, let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there isn't- there's not one mall cop here as far as I can tell. I don't know, I mean, hmm. B, this is an experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect. Don't bring Sucker B into it. Alright, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. What do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk. I can do this. Okay, I will admit that drawing attention is something you have. I'm great at crimes. But what if I get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Let's go. Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. Hey. Uh-huh. I've got a question. T-shirts are 20% off. Yeah, I saw. I was wondering about something else. Okay. The name of the store. Yeah. <laughs> you probably get this question a lot. Try me. So, um, 
Is it like you revolution or like your revolution? You know, no one ever thinks to ask this, but I think about it all the time. I bet God. You know what the official business name on our checks is? Unre you Revolution Radical Youth Culture Uprising Inc. That's really dumb. God, I know. Like, guys, can't we just be a store that sells cool shit to teens? Yeah, teens go nuts for this shit. The employee discount is also pretty great. I had a job once. Had a 100% discount. Uh-huh. When I stole shit... No, I got what you meant the first time. I bet you grab things all the time. Well, they're big into prosecuting to the fullest extent of the law here, so... Okay, I'm done looking. Let's go. Okay, it was nice talking to you. Bye now. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Why did I do that? You did so well, B. I call the cops on shoplifters at my store. This... What did you get? Some kind of necklace thing? Nice, nice. Oh god. Forget it, we're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like out in the open waters now. I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. Wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god, I loved her. Did you ever come to the summer days thing here? Yeah, it likes squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. <laughs> yeah, every year that would happen and someone would make a fuss. But like, I don't know. You showed up to be squirted by a fish fountain. You know the what way up there? Past the upper food court thing? Up in the atrium? The what? The ceiling, the glass part that points up. Yeah. When I was a kid, I thought that's where God lived. Wow. I don't know. Just remember staring at it when I was a kid. Like eating a burger and trying to see if I could see God. Like peeking over or something. And it looks like they've got some weird hanging art up there now. Wanna go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. You up for eating? Yeah. Let's eat. Okay. I expect more excitement. Mall food court dinner. Oh, what a feeling. See, that wasn't hard. Ugh. What did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. Pierre Pierogi burger from Smelter Burger. That's just a big pile of carbs and meat, huh? Isn't that what we are? Bones, too. I don't want bones in my burger. What? Remember when Kathy Domenko pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? You know what? That was about right. Wasn't Kathy pregnant with, what was his name, football guy? Ron Boonstra. I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was that first football game of our senior year, and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands, My first touchdowns for my f uh, beautiful firstborn and his mommy, Kathy Dom Domingo. That's something. Kathy was in marching band and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cin Cindy a week later. Oh, yeah. See, that's what the part I know about. That's what set the whole off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what Kathy's up to, I wonder what Ron's doing. I wonder what happened to Cindy. I imagine she got a new nose ring. Or conversely, never wanted a nose ring ever again. You know what the worst part of the story is? Uh, Ron? At the time, I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. I guess. Well, it used to make more s things make it used to make things make more sense at least. Think about this place, the fountain, and the god walkway and stuff. Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Now, not knowing means it may not be wrong. It may be going wrong, and I may not be able to fix it. Help knowing someone was at the controls, you know. Now I'm just tired from all the time at the shop. When I was in school, yeah. Uh, 
Don't even want to talk about it. What happened, anyway? You want to run around the mall some more? Uh, there's not really much else to run around. We can check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run. You run, I'm going to sit here. I'm tired and sad now. Suit yourself. Oh, alright. What a mess. I can't believe this place even has lights on anymore. Wow, they sure will only end the mall. We're being in such a big place. Alone. I know, it's so weird going in the mall anymore. Back in the day, it used to be like such a fun thing to do with your friends. Go hang out at the mall. Now we're just kind of like, yeah, I gotta run to the mall. If, if you even have one anymore. Oh god. Oh wow. Is this... What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Whoa, hey. Oh, crud. <laughs> oh, I missed. Holy crap. turning away now. Beatrice Centello. Don't give them our names. Beatrice Jones. Oh wow, is that you, God? Yes it is. Yes it is I, God Stevenson. I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal. Through my fish monster I have lain waste to your kind. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence, I shan't say it again. You and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. Yeah, we should probably get out of here. Before you get arrested. The cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up. For I am God and I hate the cops. Okay, okay, get down here. Have a good one, mortal. Jeez. Because it's not sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here. But she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in a much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Return the ship. Okay, okay, I'm going. Okay, good. Hi. Hello. You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here is that shit. But we don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like this. Wait, you stole this? You're just a cog in a much bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming a thing a inside a whole thing. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole thing. We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? This place used to be something. I mean, it's still something. No, it's just a big, mostly empty thing. In a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fort Lucene, Lucene used to be something. Now Fort Lucene's over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. I want to drive my way home. No.
bandit queens. <laughs> Sup, Dan. Heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. Works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Wow, hold on, let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. What did you do tonight? Went out with B. You have a good time? Yeah, she's kinda, I don't know. Like she's older, like much older. And kinda sad? Well, oh, she's been through a lot. Yeah. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Well, what have you done for me lately? Been an excellent daughter. Been a credit to this family. Uh. Well, there's a credit. That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Yeah, why not? Hop up. I'm watching Garbo and Malloy. Nice. Okay. I'm not gonna read out Garbo and Malloy, you olds. I can't think of more voices and I'm barely doing a job as it is. If it'll let me, I don't know if it's even let me the past few times. Let's see. Hey dude, what did you do tonight? Nothing much. Stole something. For Angus. It's a surprise. Wow, what is it? Hold on for a sec. Oh crap, I gotta go. Talk to you later. Okay, weirdo, are you okay? Hey, cool mall times. Pretty cool mall times, yes. I hope we didn't make too much of a mess with the fountain. Who's we? I was merely sitting there when I was assaulted with mall water. I will not rest until the fountain is brought to justice. Tell the world my story. They must know. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I hope the nightmares aren't too horrible. It is a trauma I shall bear forever. <laughs> Jeez. Bedtime? Yes. Oh, excuse me. It's got to be cut. Oh god, I'm on these dream sequences. I don't like playing with these. Oh my. It's like a A very happy bear. Blong. Okay. Okay, let's look here. Morning. I'm working today. I guess it's out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. Okay. Oh. Okay. Stop. Well, that was easy enough, I guess. Bookshelf is like the ghost of Granddad. Hang out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost, like his skeleton. Oh, okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. there's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Is this like, what is this? I don't know what that was. What are you even thinking about in there? Bird stuff? Okay, let's talk to the mom. Okay, let's get prepped for the voice here. Good morning. Did you feel it last night? No? What? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth and on a floor plane. Flood floodplain? Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. 
I guarantee you I won't. I've seen sinkholes. No, no, no interest at all. Mom, there, it's just a hole in the ground. Get back to me when one, like, swallows a house or something. Well, we'll go see it together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? <clears throat> oh, that voice is hurting me more than bees or anything. Went to the mall with B. Oh, Fort Lucin. Yeah. I haven't been there in years, how is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm, bye, sweetie. Ugh, the Fargo, Minnesota voices. Treading harder than B or anyone else. Oh, it's all rainy. How nice. Hold on. Hey, go for it, there. Hey, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed the door on the way your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. That's very rude. The old west was a very rude time. Howdy, partner. I say, I say, this is a powerful rude. That's like a southern gentleman. He's classing the place up. Tarnation. Okay, Mom, no more cowboy talk for you. Dad, gummit. I gotta get back to work, sweetie. Love you. Okay. Remy! Stop that. Stop! Both of you. Knock it off. Shut up. Okay, there's Pastor Kate, or Kate, or Karen, whatever her fucking name is. Hey again. Hey. Your mom will be pretty happy you're here. Oh, I know. Don't I know it. You're not a, you're not a churchgoer. No. I was when I was a kid. Well, you had to go then. Yeah. I like Sunday school. They give you cookies and orange drink. Is orange drink really the only name for it? I don't know. I'm realizing I also have been calling it that my entire life. Orange drink. The drink that is orange. When did you stop coming? Oh, my mom stopped making me. When I was like 15 or so. Why? I don't know. All the sitting and standing, sing this now, feel this thing now. Well, the feelings are more suggestions. It doesn't feel like it. Well, I hope maybe you'll come some Sunday. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh, wow, preach. Kinda has a bad ring to it, huh? talk? That works. Hey, how are things with the whole Bruce situation? Well, we're praying and gears are turning, but they turn slow. But God can turn any gear they want, and I take comfort in that. I hope it turns out okay. Thank you, May. Hey, listen, you know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God, sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of my job description. Okay. Well, that's nice. Let's see. Hey, BB. Hey, May. How's it going? Got a load of rock salt to move. Came in early this year and like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards? Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? 
Wanna hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you wanna, like, come along. Oh, I was thinking we'd go play putt-putt out in Hunwick. May that's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, got work. Aw, oh, jeez, what is even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So you wanna come along or not? Uh, got a lot to do today. Okay. I'll come back. I'll go talk to Greg for a bit and then I'll come back. Go see what we need to do there. It's wet and I'm cold. Now go in the bar! The smelters wouldn't say that. Hell no, smelters pay it, play in any weather. Come rain or shine, it's always smelter weather. Oh, it must be a team or something they're talking about. Okay. Like the Pittsburgh Steelers or something. Hey, hey, May May. Totally, what's up, dude? I was thinking about going to jail. Like, you're planning on going? I think I could break out. Maybe I should, like, test my skills of escape. I feel like the risk is bigger than possible. any possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? I had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin, Jen, said it was inevitable. Oh man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. Is Angus around today? No, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Eh, yeah, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You wanna hang out? Uh, got a lot to do today. Cool, later. Yeah, I think I'll go hang with. B anyway, cause she already offered. And since he's talking about going to jail, it just does not seem like a, something you wanna be part of. So let's go back. And we will go hang out with B. Okay. So do you want to come along or not? Yeah, let's hang out. Let's do it. House call. Couldn't you just like refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. You coming? There's a thing back here in the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill. Yep. I've never been back up here before. May Borowski, you have now been here. It's nice. Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins people turned into houses. Some hunting camps. So don't, like, get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient. For murder. Is it? It ain't murder if it's animals. That's dark. Well, aren't you technically animals? Hold that thought. You gonna knock? Thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through a four alarm fire, but that furnace. We'll take a look at it. Ever since Jean passed, I can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Jean was such a darling man. Hey, what did you mean by hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh-huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait for it. You can't take a woman's husband just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off. 
Remington took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, a crime was definitely committed here. They just cut into by not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. Well, I won't talk your ears off about it. Come take a look at my fridge while you're here. We bill by the half hour. Good job. Yeah, it's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. I just, it's just a classic, an original Luna Freeze. Wow. They were all the rage when I was your age. They last forever, they make me feel so young. I saw one of these the other night when I got back into town. Now really, where? Upside down under some logs in a creek in a ravine. In a van down by the river. So, furnace. Oh yes, right through the, yes, right through the, here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, May. All right, we'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time we sent someone, he got locked in the basement. I assure you that did not happen. Um, he called me from your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh, okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little person. Alrighty then. Oh man, I love creepy basements. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this splendor. Gee, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done so we can go home. What's the- that's the furnace. That's the furnace. I've decided to- his name is Clanky. Okay. You just hang out. I'm going to fix this right quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I gonna break? This is a basement full of crap. Oh jeez, okay. Shouldn't be long. Can I help? Nope. <laughs> Why am I here then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Jeez, this, old, this one old ass fan. So you have metal you can chop your finger off. Okay. Fish, fish, fish. Hmm, badminton. Bandminton. Badminton. Wreck it. I bet I can make something out of all this junk. Jeez. Who even would have this much junk? Oh, I got the fish. I need your expertise to fix this stupid furnace, Professor. Nope. Oh. I didn't know I could pick something up. I could see be this being useful in furnace fix- Oh, I see. This looks useful. Fucking mats. Yeah, I could see this being useful. Alright, so I can't carry anything else. So I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. So, I've got a gnome, a fishing pole, a badminton racket, and a fan. I've got two wheels and a turny thing with no wheel. Probably just need a ch the turny thing. Clanky's probably got loads of heat, but can't get it out. To get Clanky all hot and bothered, we will teach Clanky to love. I bet I could. Hmm. Uh... Oh god. Okay, done. What? 
Oh wait, you destructive pain in the ass. I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we did it. Wait, what did you do? I engineered an elegant long-term solution. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. <laughs> like, don't even have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Aw, oh, friggin' crap. That's totally gonna work. This is so typical. I wanna check the exit. Damn it. Well, we're locked in. <sighs> I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid bee. See if you can yell? It's not gonna work. Miss Miranda! It didn't work. Well, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can, like, figure this out. I can look around, too. Yeah, you can look around a whole bunch. There's a bat here. We can just... Hmm. The one thing she could hear is this furnace when it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. Oh, we just fixed it, though. Hmm. Well, it's the one tool I do know how to use. A uh, tool for bright beating ass. Oh. I do feel bad, because B did just fix that. Suck it, you piece of crap furnace. Wow, that is pretty loud. Uh, yeah, jeez. Surprised I can't hear that back in town. Okay, cool, she's coming, thank god. Um, thank me, more like. Hey, Miss Miranda, you locked us in. That was pretty loud. <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh-huh. You alright? She gave us lemonade. Yeah. Uh, such a lovely. Then what's up? Nothing, just tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. Good for you. Ugh, you were zero fun. Yep, <laughs> that's how I feel too. You need, like, some magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. Let me know. Remington, stop. Let me know when that happens. Wouldn't want to miss it. I like B a lot. Definitely see a lot of point. Oh my. Oh. Oh, this is gonna end. Oh, am I supposed to gather all these fireflies? That makes sense. Are you like a firefly whisperer or something? They just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, May Borowski. Granddad said being interesting was all you could hope to be. Well, mission accomplished. Woo! <laughs> you know, I have to say this would have been a much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. See, I'm good to have around. I mean, you can certainly beat the shit out of a furnace. I can beat the shit out of anything. You should, like, channel that aggression you always have into something useful. Uh, Dr. Hank said way back I needed it to repress it. Repress, not, like, learn to deal with it. He specifically said repress. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, Dr. Hank doesn't sound too good. So do you think Miss Miranda is, like, pulled her guts out? Isn't that what you would do for mummies? I don't know, May. Do you think you'd have the stomach for it? 
No. I probably took a lot of heart. <laughs> yep. I wish she would explain it to us. I get it, May. She really wrecked him. Okay, that probably stayed in place. Yeah, that should stay where it belongs. I'm leaving. Hey, you gotta live for your life! Bye, this is me gone. Hey, wait up! You're walking back to town. You've got a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. Oh, that's actually really sweet. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ruined machines. But now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? It's like having a, I like having a paycheck. It's fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work days, or for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working? Uh-huh, you kids with your slang. Slang could pick up at work. Okay, yes, point made. Okay, I think I'm gonna go to bed because I don't feel like watching TV with Dad over there. Okay. Hey, punk, what do you do tonight? Got trapped in a basement? Beat up a furnace? Right on, man. Night-night. Hey, that was fun. Let's do that again sometime. You're pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. Yeah, it's called demolition. You can actually get a job doing that. Holy shit, I found my calling. I'm glad I could help facilitate this. Oh, so I looked up people who attract insects? Seems to come down a lot of lot to heat and various odors. They can't get enough of this. I guess not. Good night, May. Night. <laughs> Remington. Bedtime. Yeah, let's say bedtime. Alright, so I will probably leave this episode off here. I've been playing just under an hour or so. And I think it's going to be in a little dream sequence here anyway, probably. Which I'm just probably going to cut out. Yep, dream sequence, and I hate these. So I'm probably going to keep this cut out. Because I don't think they're really pertinent to the story in any way, shape, or form. Um, so I'm going to leave this episode off here, like I said. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Give it the thumbs up there. Um, leave a comment with any other game suggestions or uh, videos that you'd like to see. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to see other videos that I've done. I will see you all in the next one.